Hi everyone. I am Shiju Vargis. Uh, in this session, I am going to be talk about building REST-based web services in uh, Go with the MongoDB as the persistent storage. Let me introduce myself. Uh, I am working as a cloud solutions architect, primarily working on uh, Microsoft Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud. And uh, recently, I just jumped into Go programming language. Comes from uh, C Sharp and Node.js. Uh, in the past, I was uh, mainly worked on Microsoft technologies and had been awarded uh, Microsoft valuable, most valuable professional for five times. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, ShijuCV. The primary objective of the session is to demonstrate how to build HTTP servers in Go and how to working with the MongoDB from uh, your Go application. And finally, you will learn how to build RESTful web services in Go with the MongoDB. So uh, I believe that Go is a great technology stack for uh, building back systems for your mobile application and also for modern web apps such as single page kind of application uh, where Go can serve as the backend for your uh, 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 web apps and uh, uh, mobile apps. So in mobile and web, an API driven development is moving. We are moving to an API driven development where on the backend we are build, providing a REST services for our uh, mobile application and uh, web application. So let's start with the how to build HTTP servers in Go. Then later we can move how to build REST-based services in Go. So when you think about building uh, web applications or simply building HTTP servers, the most important package would be uh, NetHttp. Comes from uh, Go standard library. Even without leveraging any third-party library, you can build highly scalable web systems in Go by simply using this uh, HTTP package. Uh, HTTP package comes with a lot of uh, composability and extensibility because for a Go developer, the philosoph design philosophy is building applications with composability and extensibility build application with a lot of packages, reusable package and compose it as a, a big application. So HTTP package comes with a lot of composability. You can replace some functionality of HTTP package with your own package or third party package. You can replace or extend some functionality of uh, HTTP package. NetHTTP package provides HTTP clients and server implementation that allows you to implement a typical uh, request response paradigm of web development. Basically, web development is it's all about a request response. Uh, a HTTP clients requesting for some resources, our web server process the request and send back to the response to the HTTP clients. So this is topic about building REST API. Let's say you are building a JSON based REST API you will send the response in uh, uh, JSON format. Excuse me. So let's have a look on uh, how to process HTTP request in Go. Web is, as discussed earlier, Web is working based on a principle of request response, where Web server passes the request from uh, 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 HTTP clients and send a response back to the requested party. Uh, so for processing HTTP request in Go, uh, it is how, uh, uh, it, you should consider about two major components, a Servmax and a handler. Servmax is uh, uh, essentially a request router that compares incoming HTTP request against a list of 
uh, uh, predefined URL paths and calls associated handler if there is a match is found. So this is the primary functionality of uh, Serum Max. And uh, another major uh, company's handler. A uh, handler is uh, primarily responsible for writing response headers and bodies. Let's say we are building a REST, REST API. So uh, uh, we will send the response in either XML or JSON. In my uh, uh, REST API demo, this is a JSON based API. So the handler will send the response in JSON format to the requested clients. So this is the uh, HTTP handler interface that provides a, a, a method serve HTTP that is responsible for serving HTTP request. Uh, so in Go, that provides a lot of extensibility through its interface. This HTTP handler is an interface. So the good thing is any object in Go can be a HTTP handler. So you just provide the implementation specified in the handler interface, which can be a handler, HTTP handler. So it's really cool. So any object you can uh, 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 serve as a HTTP handler. So that is uh, responsible for the uh, response headers and bodies. Uh, but the implementation of HTTP handler is an object. But in uh, many cases, we may want to use simple Go function as handlers. So it would be very difficult to uh, create an uh, 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 object of HTTP handle and provide with uh, our HTTP package. So this is an adapter to allow the use of ordinary Go function as HTTP handlers. At the same time, the HTTP package provides handle fung method is another method that 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 is a shortcut shortcut to provide a, a HTTP handler otherwise uh, you have to uh, uh, convert an existing function as a handler func but uh, handle func is a shortcut uh, which will uh, 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 work easily with uh, our uh, HTTP package so we have dis discussed some basics about our HTTP package and how we process HTTP requests through a Serumax and a, a HTTP handler interface. And it also provides uh, a handler func uh, type and also a shortcut method, handle func. So let's build a simple HTTP server in Go. This is a very simple HTTP server. So in the main function, we just call uh, uh, handle func, which is a, a shortcut method to the handler. Uh, so uh, the first argument is the expected pattern. For that pattern, we have provided a handler function, handle. That provides, uh, uh, that is having two uh, uh, parameters, a response writer, which is responsible for writing uh, response headers and bodies. Uh, and a request object, which is which can be used for extracting information about the HTTP request. And finally, uh, we call listen and serve. That expects a, a address and a handler. So here we provide a, a address as port 8080. And for handler, we just provide nil, which means we are using Servmax uh, default Servmax because we have already added the handler the handler through HTTP packages handle func. So then uh, we have discussed discussed some basics about building HTTP servers. 
so before diving diving to our rust api let's have a very brief look on uh, mongodb how to work with uh, mongodb from uh, go so this is the driver for uh, mongodb pronounced mango it's completely written in go it's created in uh, 2010 and from uh, since 2011 sponsored uh, sponsored by mongodb so let us look on how to connect with uh, mongodb from our go applications uh, the mango provide a method dial dial uh, establish establish a new session to the uh, one or cluster of servers Uh, you can use the same method for connecting to a single server or cluster of servers by using the single method defined by the url parameter so you can pass uh, the url parameter parameter as an array for providing uh, co uh, connecting to multiple servers so <laughs> then uh, working with the mongodb the next important topic is uh, collections actually we are performing crud operations against collections by using the session object which we created using the dial method so uh, for accessing the collection uh, uh, just call the db method provide the database then uh, dot c Uh, uh, just provide the collection name. Uh, there is a sample code below. Uh, here the uh, we just declare a variable collection. Uh, session is the uh, object we created through the dial uh, dial method. We just call session dot db. The just specifying our uh, database name as nodes db. Then dot c. Our collection name is nodes. So we can retrieve a collection object. by using our uh, uh, se session object and importing uh, very importantly uh, you can uh, copy or clone mongodb sessions for the future usage for each crud operations so in this uh, sample code we just getting all results from uh, nodes collections we just uh, uh, call the find method uh, at this moment we don't uh, we don't have to provide any filtering so just uh, passing nil then just iterating through uh, that collections and appending the result to uh, our uh, nodes 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 is a, a array of a spice of node then we can move to our api demo so this is our uh, simple rust api demo so uh, apart from the uh, net http package in this demo uh, we use gorilla max gorilla max package and a mango driver for uh, uh, connecting with the mongodb working with the mongodb so uh, this notice our uh, uh, model this is our data model which map with uh, uh, json yeah this is our main func so here we just creating a max object from the gorilla uh, max package so uh, the max package is uh, uh, greatly working with the uh, http package that provides a lot of extensibility to the existing http package so here we specify routes 
so our uh, routing uh, patterns are slash ap slash nodes this is our uh, unique representation of our resource nodes for getting the information of uh, nodes resource use the uh, http get method and creating a new uh, new resource for our nodes resource just use the http post and for updating existing resource we just use http method put and removing an existing resource we are just using http method delete so uh, along with the uh, uri pattern we are providing our handler functions so for, uh, just just have a look on the uh, uh, HTTP get resource for getting our nodes resource. So uh, nodes handle is the handler function for the HTTP get method for the API slash resource uh, sorry nodes. So So here we uh, simply declaring a slice, then uh, querying against against the MongoDB collection, and just call the find method with uh, a nil parameter because we don't want to uh, uh, any filtering at this moment. Then we just iterating through uh, our uh, uh, this uh, data and appending to our uh, slice. our uh, node slice and finally we are setting the content type as uh, uh, application uh, json because our api is providing json data some uh, good uh, rest apis provide both json and xml some good apis if http uh, 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 client is requesting for json data they will provide json data if xml sorry http client is requesting for uh, uh, xml it will provide xml data so this is this is a simple api which simply provides uh, json data only so we can so this is the uh, uh, major uh, third third party package we use with the net http package so without leveraging a third party package you can do lot of uh, 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 http uh, uh, programming in go but i really love the max package for routing it's very similar like uh, uh, servo max provided by the uh, uh, http package so uh, again uh, we can look on the uh, uh, main function apart from the uh, uh, rusty resources we have specified through uh, uh, our max routing yeah here we are connecting to our mongodb database here we just specified local host as the url pattern sorry uri yeah here we just create a, a collection object from uh, nodes and finally our http package uh, listen and serve at port 8080 so here we provide handle as nil because we have already implemented our rust resources here we have specified the all routing information through our max package we can just look on uh, creating a new resource as well so all uh, functions uh, uh, is having two parameters a response header and sorry a response writer and a uh, request object so here uh, we are just 
decoding uh, incoming uh, uh, JSON string from the uh, HTTP request. So, for the ID, we just create uh, create a, a new ID from the BSON package by just calling a new object ID. Then we specify uh, each properties accordingly. And so, working with the Mango driver is very simple. For per, uh, inserting a new record, just call the insert method with the resource we are providing. So let me call uh, some API methods of the Rust API. Uh, so here uh, I am just accessing uh, our nodes resources. So uh, uh, I have provided the URI API sl uh, slash nodes. So for getting the resources using the HTTP get method. So I have s uh, selected uh, HTTP get. So let me. So the result is getting in JSON. Currently we have two resources. So it, uh, it provides a nodes collections. So let me So, I am trying to create a new resource using HTTP POST method. The URI is same. Sorry. Okay. Oh, let me provide JSON. So, let me process the request. Yes, it's created a new resource. So, again, it should be get. Yes. Now we have three resources. So uh, 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 the objective is uh, uh, building an HTTP API in Go is really cool. Go is a great technology stack for building backend system for your mobile applications and your modern web applications such as uh, single page application. So uh, in my uh, day to day job, uh, in the past I have used uh, uh, Node.js for uh, providing backend for our mobile application and sometimes uh, I really get frustrated. So uh, when looking on Go, I was really excited. The, the reason is 
Go is really cool for building this kind of backend system. At the same time, you can go for uh, general as a general purpose programming language. You can use Go for very building variety of application. So when uh, I just uh, uh, I was just using uh, Node.js only for building APIs. So the real advantage of Go is this is a general purpose language. You can use Go for systems level application. You can go for building web application, especially for building backend systems, uh, building APIs. Go is really cool. So thank you.